What's up, Colgate, Hamilton, and surrounding area? You're listening to WRCU FM 90.1. My name is Patrick. I am not Anastasia, but Anastasia has let us use some time on this librarian hour. And I'm here with Christopher and Stephanie from the Twin Tiers International Film Festival. We're going to talk a little bit about this awesome festival that they do every year in Norwich, New York. Uh, so it's this September. Christopher, you are the executive director. Can you tell me a little bit about the process leading up to the event? What stage you're in right now? Uh, yeah, sure. Thanks for having me. First of all, yeah, uh, absolutely. Um, so the process going in right now, right now we're uh, we, we've collected all of our sponsors, uh, pretty much got all of our financial backing for this year going in. Uh, right now, we're looking at bringing in a celebrity guest. I can't officially say the name of the okay. guest yet, but uh, we are going to bring in a celebrity Hollywood guest. It's going to be an actor coming in to host our awards. Mm-hmm. Uh, right now, we've got uh, over 190 sub- film submissions this year so wow. far. Yeah, wow. 190 of them. Uh, and it's it's growing. I mean, it keeps going. Uh, last year was our first year, by the way. So last year, we had 203 uh, submissions total. And I understand that you try to take as many submissions as possible and put a yep. spotlight on all of them. I, I try to, yeah. Okay. I mean, it, it's difficult when you have that many submissions. Yeah, of but, course. Of but, course. I mean, we only have so much time that we can show all the films. So last, yeah. year, we, we, last year we went over uh, 55 films. Wow. So. so how long does that run over uh, the course of three days? Yeah, it was three days. Uh, we did about eight to nine hours a day. Wow. That's awesome. And you take them from all different backgrounds, genres. You don't, it doesn't matter. Nope. Uh, we don't experience. discriminate. Nope. Nothing. That's uh, awesome. so, so we take all genres, all film lengths, everything. So a lot of film festivals out there right now are kind of restrictive yeah. uh, on what they say. They, you know, they can only take shorts or they can only take features. We are open to everything. That's great. That's really refreshing with like Banff and TIFF and uh, Sundance. It's, it seems like it's getting to be a more competitive industry every year. Absolutely. Yeah. Especially now that filmmaking is so open to anybody who wants to do it. So yeah, that's, any, anybody with a camera, pick yeah. it up and take a movie. You know? So that's really cool. And you do workshops at the festival as yep. well. Yep. Uh, you... This year we're going to be doing four workshops. Okay. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, what we call you know, um, Hollywood acting uh, workshop. Nice. It's going to be, uh, we're going to have uh, Philip E. Walker, who is a, a Hollywood professional Hollywood actor, coming in to do the, the host of the workshop. And what he's talking about is anyone that wants to be an actor or actress, uh, how to obtain full-time employment in Hollywood, not just to be a star right. or in a movie, but to obtain full-time employment through working up to becoming a star yeah. in Hollywood. So that's one workshop we're going to be doing. Uh, another one we're going to be doing is a screenwriter's workshop okay. about writing scripts and bringing that into film. Uh, another one is film finance. So we're going to be doing indie film financing and how to get your financing and budgeting down for your next blockbuster. Uh, And then the other one we're going to be doing is called Art and Cinema. And this one's actually sponsored by Golden Artist Colors. Uh, They're a huge acrylic paint uh, manufacturer. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, And so they're behind us. And uh, Colin uh, Colin Golden is her name. Let me get that right. (laughs) Colin Golden. Uh, she is going to be hosting the workshop, and uh, she's going to be talking about what the art department does behind the scenes of the film, setting the scene, basically, setting the design okay. of the film. Very cool. Camera. Are there any that you're most excited about? Are you allowed to say? Is that like I, picking your favorite kid? It, like? it, it is, yeah. I, I can't say. I like them all. Uh, I'll just say that. Yeah. I, I, I really feel like each year I try to put these workshops together in the mind of, you know, if I was, you know, I, I am a kind of a hobbyist filmmaker. I wouldn't say I'm yeah. a filmmaker, but I like to do it for the hobby of it. And if I was an actual, you know, full-on legitimate indie filmmaker, what would I want to go and do and see at the film fest? If I'm going to put my film in, what would I want help on or what would I want to see within this film fest if I'm attending so that's kind of the mindset that I go into trying to get the best workshops that I can the available to us that we can come in and, and produce at the film festival yeah for sure and so does your filmmaking background ever um, does that ever seep into your uh, process of choosing who or what films uh, get into the festival? Or? No, not really. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty open to everything. I, yeah. I'm, I'm very subjective. I'm just you know, open to everything. Um, basically, if, uh, if the film's good, I yeah. mean, if the film is good and, and it has quality content to it, it's not some just, you know, just random, you know, whatever out there, then 
yeah, I mean, you have a shot. You have a legitimate shot of getting in. Yeah, absolutely. That's super exciting. Um, here at Colgate, we we had a film and media studies minor for a while, but because of its popularity, it's actually become a major just last year, which is really exciting for us. Um, so we have there's definitely a demonstrated interest on our campus in film and the filmmaking process. Yeah, that's uh, so why do you think a student from a liberal arts filmmaking background would want to attend the Twin Tiers Festival? Well, for one, we're diverse in everything we offer. So, I mean, one, diversity, and two, it's we tailor to the filmmaker. Like, I, I know a lot of film festivals say that, but we actually give you a VIP experience from yeah. the first for the first moment you walk in to the minute you leave that film fest. We give you the VIP experience, all-inclusive, and all of our workshops are free for the filmmakers who submit in um, and everything. So if they're, if your film is selected in and you are an actual official selection to our film festival, you get two free VIP passes to attend everything during the film wow. festival. So I mean, uh, so I mean, it's it's not like we're trying to you know make a buck off of you. Yeah. We're, we're trying yeah. to help you and trying to guide your career and go into becoming something else in filmmaking. It's, yeah, it's also a good idea to go to and see what other filmmakers are doing, what you're up against, if you're interested in making films. For sure, that's always necessary when you're, especially in such a like, inherently competitive industry. That's that's yeah, cool that you offer that opportunity. Do you ever notice? Is, is there anything unique about the fact that it's in upstate New York? I know we have a Hamilton International Film Festival in the summer, um, and I've spoken with people involved in that, and they always say that it's it's cool to see the difference between local projects versus projects at, at the more... Um, I don't want to the ones that have a bigger spotlight on them. Right. And yeah. it, it, it is too. I mean, um, like local films, it's always neater to see because yeah. I mean, you rec like when you're watching the film, you recognize the places that maybe yeah. it was filmed at, or you recognize the people that acting in it and stuff like that. So th there is more of a kind of a heart to it. You know, you kind of heart, you know, it's just a warming feeling when you, yeah. when you get a local film in. So it's, it's uh, definitely has that kind of aspect to it. Yeah, there's definitely that sense of community that comes yeah, up yeah, in the process definitely. of making a film. So tickets for the workshops are $5. Correct. But if you purchase a VIP pass, you can go to any of them. Any of them all weekend long. Awesome. And where can they find more? Where can our listeners find more information about? Yep. Uh, on our website, it's uh, www.twintearsfilmfest.com. Uh, and starting May 1st is when we're going to have the passes available online. So you can go on there, reserve your passes. All the passes are going to be handed out at the festival, but we'll give you a confirmation saying just bring your confirmation into the festival and you'll get your passes right at the door. Great. And the Twin Tiers International Film Festival will be September 20th through the 22nd yep. in Norwich, New York. Thank you guys so much for being here. Yeah, this has been, been a blast. Thank you, Patrick.